Hello and thank you for watching another unboxing and review video and another Scalextric set. It was about this time last year when Scalextric very kindly sent me their Back to the Future versus Knight Rider set. And if you missed that, I'll put a link to it just below. So please go and have a look at that. This time they've sent me a micro Scalextric kit. And as you can see here, it's Batman versus the Riddler, which is pretty awesome. Have to be honest, I didn't even know Scalextric did micro kits. So I'm sure already the Scalextric fans out there going, why the hell didn't you know that? So let's dive in. Let's have a look what you get in this set. Uh, here's the box. Of course, it's all very nicely packaged. It's sent out to you really well packaged. There was no damage to the box or anything. There wasn't any dints or rips or tears. So that's always a good sign. And then moving in closer, we'll see one, just one of the quite a few track layouts that you can do with this. And again, as you can see there, the track length is 11.6 feet, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, and it's enough to get started with. It is a micro set, isn't it, to be honest with you. There's the back of the box, which lays out just, again, one of the layouts that you can do. And I'll zoom in and you can collect other cars. I always love this about scale extra kits. And I mentioned it in the Back to the Future versus Knight Rider. All the different cars you can get. So here you can get Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, and The Joker. So if you want to collect them all, you can collect them all. It's also plug and play. And again, just have a quick read there. And it really is quick and simple to assemble and disassemble. Uh, I found it a lot easier to put together and disassemble than the Back to the Future versus Knight Rider one, I've got to admit. Uh, the hand controller, again... A little bit smaller. It is really lightweight, so it's fine for those little hands for the kids that are going to be playing. This was a nice little treat. A stunt ramp. You know what's going to happen in this video, don't you? And again, if you play it, if you go too quick, you're going to go up the ramp and you're going to go flying off the edge, which I did many, many times. It just adds a nice little bit of you've got to control what you're doing. And again, control is a, a good part of the game in a little bit when we get onto the controllers for it. Uh, and a nice little bonus on this one, the lap counter booby trap. This is good. Adds a little bit of spice to your race. Uh, you can set the length of the race, anything up to 50 laps. Whoever completes the, the race first, tough luck on your opponent because this little plastic f um, like trigger comes up. So when their car comes, it hits it and their car goes flying. So, yeah, it just adds, like I said, that little bit of spice to when you're racing each other. And here we've got the pack contents. Of course, you've got the two controllers. You've got the battery power case. Yes, this isn't mains controlled. You just plug in uh, some batteries, which is good. The booby trap, the two cars, the track, and trackside graphic, which we'll just get into. And look at that. Nine, count them, nine alternate track layouts. So if you get a little bit bored with one layout, just swap it around a little bit. And again, this extends if you do buy more track pieces. Your uh, track layouts just get more and more and more and, you know, adds to the fun. So let's get into the box opening and see what we've got inside. Uh, unlike the Back to the Future versus Knight Rider, which just flipped open, you pull everything out from the side in this one, which I managed to do in one go. <laughs> well done, me. Uh, and then I'm going to take all the pieces out and you can see what's in here. You do get quite a bit of track. There's some good uh, different versions of the track with the bends and the, the stunt ramps and everything else that's, that's going to be in there. Oh, look at that. A sexy reveal <laughs> underneath. There we have the graphic that I talked about earlier and the instructions. So let's have a little look in just a minute of what is in there. Let's get everything out of the box first. So let's take some of the bends out of the box first. A handful of them, quite literally. Plenty to go at. Not too sharp a bends, so you can take those fairly quickly, i found, as you're racing. Again, in a little bit, you'll see it's the stunt ramp, which is the killer. <laughs> the power pack, some straight pieces. Very easy to plug your two controllers into. And depending on your track layout, you can put that part wherever you want. So fit it into the room. Oh, there we go. There's the booby traps. That's where you set your 
race length. And here's a little miniature micro cars. Again, these are very light, but some nice detail on them as well. Here's the little... Uh, now, these parts, these hold up any part of the stunt ramp, any part of the track that you're going to elevate. These help to keep the track elevated. I did find that they can... The track can be a little bit curved. Sometimes the bottom of these doesn't quite touch the floor. But with use, and once it's all bedded in, uh, that'll work a lot better. But it helps support them. And here we go with the ramps. If you want to go up, if you want to go down. And again, I'd love some more pieces of this to make, you know, a ramp that's just elevates in height and then swoops down a lot higher than it gives you. Uh, oh, and the controllers. Like I said, these are really lightweight. And once again, they've got the four different speed settings on them. It goes from 25% to 50 to 75 to 100. We'll take a closer look at that in a few minutes' time. Uh, those are the new brushes underneath, I do believe. Uh, please leave a comment underneath if I've uh, screwed that one up. Right, let's have a look at the size of the cars. They're about... What, seven centimeters? Um, so they're, they're, they're quite tiny, but like I say, they're nicely detailed and uh, they're fun. They're f they look fun. Now, opening up what you get in here, we have the graphic. Again, that fits perfectly in the loops of the track. So you can put that wherever you want, just for a little bit of added detail. The instruction manual just to make sure that you don't screw up when you put it all together, which I didn't. It's all very clearly explained. And again, some of the different track layouts, just to help you as you go along. I'm sure it'll become a just force of habit and your favourite tracks. You won't need to refer to any instructions, and you can put them together however you want. And then finally, again, much like in the Back to the Future versus Knight Rider, you've got a little bit of a poster, you've got some advertising, of the other stuff that you can buy. Look at that for a track layout. Now that's what I'm talking about with heights and loops and everything. That's the ultimate. That's the one to go for. If you've got the room to do that, whoa. Um, yeah, and on the back, some more details about the scale extra, the different cars, the different tracks. So there's the height, um, like I said, of the stunt ramp at the end in this layout. Eight centimeters, it's enough. I think if you look just behind the ruler, you can see the the uh, the little plastic thing that's used to keep the the track high. If you look at the right hand side, you can see it's not quite sitting on the table. That's what I was talking about with a little bit of twisting going on. But after some use, that will settle down. And but it even supported it just like that. It wasn't too wobbly with the cars going over it. There was nothing to be concerned about as you're racing. Talking of racing, here's a little bit of it. You can see how fast they go there. That is pretty nippy, isn't it? And a closer look at this counter, um, and you can see, hopefully, if you just look how it's... Every time a car goes past, it clicks down, it clicks down. Uh, it is quite loud. I'll give it that. It's a louder set than the Back to the Future versus Knight Rider uh, with the sound of the cars and also with... Um, that clicker as it keeps going down. But like I said before, it does add a fun element to the racing as you go along. And there's the controller. Like I said, it's on 100% power, so it's got full play. Uh, as you'll see, as I squeeze it all the way down. Let's see. There you go. And it's flown off the edge of the stunt ramp because it was on 100%. And as you flick it down, you get less play and you've got less uh, power. So if you've got little kids and they're not too good at controlling the power, you can just put it on 25% and race. Another closer look as that clicker goes down. Those lap counters, that inevitable crash that's going to happen to whoever loses the race. I did love this part of it. I had a few races and, uh, you know, you can set it to a one lap race if you want, anything up to 50. And an overview of the track with the graphic there. That does fit snugly into those bends if you want it to. But uh, yeah, it's all very neat and tidy. Doesn't take up a lot of space. You can see it there uh, just on like a normal desktop. So it's quick and easy to play. And a look at, there we go, the batteries. Don't even need to plug it in anywhere. 
So it's very, very portable. You could take it camping or anywhere and you can play Scale Extra. How cool is that? So let's finish off with a closer look at the box once again. I really enjoyed playing this. Uh, the fact that it's portable, you're not constrained to, you need an electric supply. The fact that you can add the different tracks to it again, like I said, as you can with all scale electric tracks. And you saw that crazy layout with all of the loops and turns and everything. To build one of those and have it portable and take it wherever you want. Then add in the fun factor of you're setting how many laps the race is and you know the loser is just going to crash and burn. Well, crash, not burn. That would be a bit too much really, wouldn't it? So yeah, I can heartily recommend this set. Uh, add to it with the cars, with the Supermans, with the Wonder Womans, all the extra stuff that you can do. So this is coming out at the beginning of November. Christmas is, of course, very close to. So if you've got anybody in your family of any age, really, that's the beauty of Scale Extra. It can be any age and you can enjoy it. This would be a really lovely treat to buy. I'll put a link in uh, where you can buy it from. Once again, with the other uh, Scale Electric video I did, uh, I wasn't paid for this. I wasn't told what to say. I genuinely love these Scale Electric kits, and I think this would be a great addition to anybody's collection, or the very first one maybe that you buy, and it will start a new obsession with Scale Electric. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked it, please subscribe, and I'll be back again with another video about what? I don't know. Subscribe and find out. Thank you.